Hello and welcome back. In this video we are going to explore the editor. If you have used a text editor such as Microsoft Word, you'll be fairly familiar with the content editor in WordPress. On the top right in screen options, you can set how you want the scroll bar in the editor to behave. If you check the sticky option, notice the bottom of the editor panel will stick to the bottom of the browser regardless where you scroll to. Disabling this option will mean you can only scroll within the work area, however you can increase or decrease the work area by clicking and dragging on the bottom right of the editor panel. At the top of the editor panel you have a row of options that allow you to format your text by highlighting a portion of your content then clicking on these buttons. You can format the selected text to bold, italics or strike through. You can insert bulleted or numbered lists by clicking on the corresponding buttons. You can highlight quotations, any important or special items by using the block quote button. You can insert a horizontal line to break up sections of your content, and you can set text align to left, center, or right. To create a link, simply highlight the word or phrase you want to add a link to, then click on the insert link button. In the pop-up window, enter the URL of your destination, enter a title, which will pop up as a tooltip when users hover over the link, and choose whether you want the link to open in a new window or tab. You have the option of linking to existing content on your website. Click the arrow to reveal additional options, and choose the content you want to link to. After you're done, click Add Link. The text will now function as a link. To remove the link, highlight or place your cursor anywhere within the text and click Remove Link. If you have a lengthy article, you may prefer to show an excerpt and have a Read More link that will take users to the full article. The last button on the first row will toggle an additional toolbar that offer you further formatting options. You can set your text format to paragraph, various heading styles, you can underline or justify your text and choose the color of your text. When copy and pasting text from another source, it's important to toggle the paste as text button. The paste as text button will remove any existing formatting on the copied text and paste it so that it's congruent to your current formatting. To remove formatting on your content, highlight it and click clear formatting. You can insert custom characters or symbols, increase or decrease text indentation, and undo or redo changes. In order to work more efficiently, make sure to check out these common keyboard shortcuts. A lot of these are universal, for example, Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste. If you prefer to write in a clutter-free environment, you may want to use distraction-free writing. You will now write in full screen mode. You still have access to the toolbar at the top, but the rest of the user interface disappears. When you're done, click Exit Full Screen to go back to the default writing interface. On the top right of the editor, there are two tabs, Visual and Text. Right now we're working in Visual Mode, which allows us to preview the format of the post without going to the front end of our website. Essentially, this is the What You See Is What You Get mode. If we switch to Text Mode, we will now enter the Code Editor. Instead of seeing regular text, we now see HTML tags. These tags tell browsers how to style and render our text. When you're in text mode, the toolbar above is replaced by a new set of options. Instead of styling our content visually, we now insert tags. Simply highlight the text you want to format and click on the corresponding tag buttons. The post editor is identical to the page editor, so once you master the different options within the editor, you'll be ready to create content anywhere. Next, we'll be talking about the publish panel.